ओके सो हेलो एवरीवन सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट टू डबल नाइन एंड द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम इज काउंट नंबर ऑफ वेज टू प्लेस हाउसेस ओके सो इफ यू आर लाइक इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम यू कैन रेफर टू द प्रीवियस वीडियो इन दिस प्ले लिस्ट ओके सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस प्रॉब्लम काउंट नंबर ऑफ वेज टू प्लेस हाउसेज सो लेट अस मूव आउट टू द यू आई दैट आई एम बीन एक्सपेक्टिंग ओके सो वेट अंड so this is a medium problem i don't know why the number of dislikes is greater than the number of likes okay so it doesn't matter the problem is really very much simple if you look out the constraints and it's around 10 raised to the power of 4 so you would be doing either o of n time solution or o of n log n solution okay so there is a street with n into two plots where the n plots on each side of the street Okay, so there will be n plots on each side of the street, and uh, so overall there would be two into n plots. The plots on each side are numbered from one to n. On each plot, a house can be placed. We can build a house on each plot. Return the number of each houses can be built such that no two houses are adjacent to each other on the same side of the street. Now this is important. Like uh, no two houses are adjacent to each other on the same side of the street. Like uh, we can uh, like both the sides of the street are going to be independent and this criteria will not hold for the two sides of the street like this will hold for uh, exactly one side of the street if you are not getting it no need to worry about we will explain the best through the diagrams for this problem description since the answer can be very large we need to output it modulo this prime number note that if a house is placed on the ith plot on one side of the street a house can also be placed on the ith plot on the other side of the street hope this uh, line will clear your statement okay so n is 1 our answer is 4 and uh, n is 2 our answer is 9 okay so let's start understanding this problem in detail and the prerequisite that will be required to solve this problem is the basics of the dynamic program okay so so we have a street over here and on either side there will be n plots so there will be n plots over here so this is actually a street and there will be n plots over here okay so consider the case for n equal to 1 so there this is the street and there is exactly one plot and there is also exactly one plot. okay so what is the number of ways we can build houses over these plots such that no two houses are adjacent to uh, each other on either side of the plot okay so you can see we can have uh, the empty arrangement also like we can build the house uh, it is not like we must have to build the house so i will denote it as uh, one of the arrangements will be e and e like do not build the house and another arrangement another arrangement would be build a house on the upper plot and do not build house on over here and do not build house over here build house over here and build house to both these positions okay so you can see these are the valid four arrangements so in this arrangement we are not going to build any house on any of the plots and in this arrangement we are going to build house over this position and this will remain empty now you can see uh, there are no two houses which are adjacent to each other right suppose there is also uh, one plot over here and if you are building the house over to this position these two houses will be adjacent to each other on either side of the plot so like on one of the sides so this will uh, be an invalid arrangement so we are not going to consider those cases okay so here uh, n is 1 so we are building a house over to this plot and we are not going to build house over to this one so this is one of the valid arrangement also we are not going to build house over to this one and we are going to build a house over to this position so this is also a valid arrangement because no two houses are adjacent to each other on either side of the street now what about when we build these two houses like houses on this one and this one now you cannot claim that these two houses are adjacent to each other because as the problem statement says no two houses are adjacent to each other on the same side of the street and you can see these two houses are not on the same side of the street so we are not going to consider that so this is also a valid arrangement Okay, so there are four arrangements for n equal to one. Okay, 
so what about when n is more than 1 which is n is 2 over here okay run this is straight okay so you can also see for this n equal to 2 you cannot build a house over to this position and house over to this position if you are doing that this is an invalid arrangement okay so you cannot build houses which are adjacent to each other and they lie on the same side of the street okay. so uh, one important observation that you are going to uh, grasp it over here before moving on to the solution is these two sides of the street this is side one consisting of n plots this is side two consisting also of uh, like it also consists of n plots are independent of each other like uh, we can uh, build the answers we can find the answer for this uh, side one let it be x then our answer for side two will also be x why because the number of plots are same and uh, where x is going to be calculated on the condition such that no two houses uh, on this side of the street should be adjacent if we are able to calculate x number of ways uh, such that we can build houses over these plots these n plots on the same side of the street such that no two houses are adjacent to each other like in this one this is invalid arrangement if you are able to calculate the value of x and uh, the value of x will be same for this side too also our answer would be x square because for every arrangement we can have the other x arrangements for the side 2 and there are x arrangements for the side 1 so our answer would be x into x which is x square so the problem boils down to calculate the value of x efficiently okay so we can calculate the value of x uh, using a simple dp array so uh, uh, the problem is similar to number of ways yeah number of ways to build an array such that no two adjacent elements are same okay now elements uh, we are going to say we are always uh, writing down some fixed element okay so this is the position 0 okay and this is the position 1 2 3 4 5 okay so dp of 0 so dp is a linear dp array will be 1 this is the base case number of ways to build uh, houses at this position will be 1 base case so well, let me write down base case okay now uh, at this position 1 there are like for every position for every ith position uh, what we can do is either place a house over to this position place a house or like this is the very first one or don't place a house place a house now for the second case you can see dp of i if you are not placing a house over to the current position will always our answer for this position will always come from the i minus 1 position ok now for this condition if we want to place a house over to this i f position what will happen think about it so for the i f position if you want to place a house over to this one so our answer would be incremented by number of ways such that dp of i uh, will have a house will be incremented by dp of i minus 2 because we are not placing uh, any house uh, like we, if you are having the house at the current position uh, we should not have any house to the i minus 1 position so our, all the answers will come from the i minus 2 position ok now uh, we need to add up dp of i such that dp of i will be equal to dp of i minus 1 plus dp of i minus 2 now there exists some case like dp i minus 2 does not exist uh, like for the initial few positions we have to handle that case efficiently so for the i equal to 1 that is there is, will be exactly one plot number of v's would be exactly 2 either build the house at this plot or don't build the house so there is these two ways for i equal to 2 if you don't build any house then your answer would be 2 right 
but if you build the house then your answer will come out from this position which is 2 plus 1 that is for this will come out for dp of i minus 1 and this will come out for dp of i minus 2 so your answer will come out to be 3 okay so you can see if you have two plots on either side so there exist exactly three ways such that you can build houses over to these plots and what are those three ways so this will be empty empty either you will have a like empty and build a house over to this plot or house or empty so there exists exactly three ways now if there exists exactly three ways on one side of the street there will also exist exist exactly three ways on the other side of the street so your answer would be 3 square which is 9 you can see 9 is the answer for this one so let's look out for the so coding part like how we are going to code that efficiently ok so I have taken LLS long long because the answer makes seed right and uh, this is the dp linear dp vector of size n plus 1 and we have defined the base case as dp of 0 as 1 and for every house from 1 to n like for every plots from 1 to n we will try to build the house or not build the house at the current plot ok so dp of i will be dp of i minus 1 if we are not building any house on the current plot and uh, if i minus 2 exist if so if you are building a house at the current plot the previous plot uh, like previous plot should be empty we should not build any house on that plot so our answer will come out from dp of i minus 2 but if i minus 2 does not exist we can build uh, exactly like we can build the house on the current plot and our answer would be 1 like we need to add this 1 to our this dp of i also and we need to take care of the modulo operation like if the answer ex uh, exceeds the this prime number we need to take modulo uh, like we need to take the modulo okay so yeah if uh, we are able to find out the number of ways to place houses on either side of the street like for one side of the street for total number of arrangements would be uh, x square where x is nothing but a dp of n and which is the number of ways to build houses on the same side of the street and for every arrangement we can have exactly dp of n arrangement for the other side so the total number of arrangements will be dp of n into dp of n so this will be our answer note that uh, the time complexity is o of n and space complexity is o of n you can optimize the space complexity by taking two variables because uh, each time your current answer depends upon the previous uh, value and like like the previous to previous value like these two values so you can take two variables and you can solve that problem okay in o of 1 space constant extra space okay so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video